Yeah. It's up to you. Brian Baby. Brian Baby. There we go. Hey. All right. Number one answer already. Doing good. Something you don't want to hear, you want to hear. Somebody that's sick, a sick person. Sick person, right there. All right, something you don't want to hear, you want to play. Somebody who smells. Somebody who smells. Yeah. And apparently we like smelly people. It makes life more exciting. It, it puts you to sleep really fast sometimes. I mean, that, that can be a benefit. You don't always wake up. All right, something you don't want near you on an airplane. Um, terrorist. A terrorist. <laughs> Someone you probably don't want to sit next to. And if you are, I suggest making friends quickly. All right, something you don't want next to you on an airplane. An overweight person. An overweight person. Way to put it nicely. Obese, even more official. Guys are doing good. Alright, something you don't want to hear on an airplane. Um, somebody that like an annoying, very annoying. An annoying, talkative person. Ooh, two strikes. Alright. Two strikes. Focus in. What do you really not like next to you? A pet. A pet. Is a pet up there? Three strikes. Looks like we're moving over here. Have an opportunity to steal. Only if you can name something you wouldn't want near you on an airplane. Alright, gentlemen, here we go. Go for it. It sounds good. That's it, right there. Sick with it. Ready, ready, break. Who's it bathroom? Bathroom. Bathroom is up there. Points have been stolen. All right. We're going to need a couple more people to come on down. I'm, I, I'm old. My memory is fading. I have a feeling Samuel L. Jackson shares that opinion. But I've heard he has some very opinionated things to say. Alright. Once again, if we could uh, please keep it silent. That way our contestants can hear everything properly. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Name an age that people worry about turning. 40. Is 40 up there? Yes, it is. Number one answer. All right, here we go. Name the age that people worry about turning. 30. 30. Is 30 up there? Nicely done. An age that people worry about turning. 50. 50. And first three. Mark them down. All right, now things are getting tough. A lot of ages out there. Name the age that people worry about turning. 25. 25. <laughs> One strike. An age that people worry about turning. Uh, 60. 60. Is 60 up there? Everybody loves the 60s. The age, not the years. All right. Two strikes. An age that people worry about turning. Uh, 35? 35. It's 35 up there. Yes, it is. Clutch. Well done. All right. An age that people worry about turning. Uh, 45. 45. Ah, three strikes. Marching on now for the gentleman. They look like they've got some great ideas over here. Let's 
Let's <laughs> let's see what they come up with. An age that people worry about turning. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. No good. What are those last two? Thirty-three. Twenty-one. It is a scary age. All right. Scorekeepers. Can you tell us who's winning? Downstairs, you can't hear anything. And 
we're going to have you list off as fast as you can the answers. It's going to go the same sort of format. We're going to try to name off all the answers that you think the surveyors say. You will only get, what is, what is the time? 20 seconds. I will read the question for 20 seconds to name off all the answers. Once that 20 seconds is up, we will bring out the second person, and they will try to guess the same ones. Uh, not the same ones, but the same like questions. See if they get the most points as they can. If it is the same answer, then it doesn't count. You have to keep going. They get 25 seconds too. They get a little bit more time since some of their questions might not work. So do you have two volunteers? Come on, two people. All right, which one of you wants to go first? You going first? All right, do we have somebody to escort the... You got it? All right, if you'll walk down, our lovely assistant will help you to a place where you can't hear anything, hopefully. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to read from... Oh, boy, this you can't hear. I'm going to read a variety of questions. I'm trying to answer. If it's not one of the uh, listed choices that the surveyor said, I'll tell you another one. It's going to be various questions, yes. You just shout things out. Yes. And if, if we screw it up, you guys won anyway, so hey, more power to you. All right, the time will start as soon as I finish reading the question. Name a yellow fruit. Name a state that starts with the letter M. Name a reason other than hard work that your boss will give you a raise. No. Uh, yes, that'll count. We'll give that one. Okay. I can tell you, I don't know if we can put up anything. No, I'm just going to have to read it out. For the first one, when you said, you make sure nothing goes down over there? Not a boy. <laughs> okay, yellow fruit, you said lemon. That was the second most, or second highest pick one, that's 30 points. The state that starts with an M was uh, Mississippi. That was 12 points. And then the name a reason other than hard work, your boss will give you a raise. Since I kind of hesitated, but I saw one that had work in it. It said worked a long time. I'm going to give it to you, and that's worth 29 points. All right. Well done. The scorekeepers get all those numbers. All right. Bring out the second contestant. It's not a lot of time, is it? Time flies and we have fun. Especially if there's only 20 seconds of it. They emerge from the blue like a tunnel. All right. I have the answers here. Okay, I'm going to read from a list of questions. There's going to be more than one. You're going to try and answer what you think was the most popular answer. If it was already one that was mentioned by your teammate, I will say no and you can answer it again. And if it's not one that was listed at all, I will say no and you can throw out another answer. All right, you get 25 seconds after I say, or after I read the question. And I should also mention that if your, to your points total 200 points or more, you win $200. That's why it's called Fast Money, because you can win really fast, yes. Okay, here we go. Name a yellow fruit. Name a state that starts with the letter M. No. Name a reason other than hard work that your boss will give you a raise. Okay, name something people save money for. Name a famous duck. All right, you got through all of them. Naming a yellow fruit. Banana was actually number one, worth 62 points. State that starts the letter M, Montana, is worth 17 points. Name a reason other than hard work that your boss would give you a raise. They like you, I went with attractiveness. <laughs> yes. That's worth 13. And then something people save money for, 
house is worth 14. A famous duck.